Hi, my name is Aaron, and on today's episode of 3 Tales RV, we're going to talk about helpful apps for RV living for your Android phone or tablet. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, so let's get started here. So for informational purposes, we're going to go ahead and do this online because it'll be easier to show you than it would be to set up a camera on my phone and actually go through the apps. I'm just going to go through and show you some of the ones that we use, and uh, that'll get you started. So the first thing we're going to do is go to googleplay.com, and you can do the same thing through Google Play on your phone. So the first one we're going to talk about here is going to be Gas Buddy. I really like this app because it gives me a proximity to where I'm at or where I'm located, what the cheapest gas prices are, and this could be highly beneficial to an RVer to try and keep uh, within their budget and give them an idea of what is the cheapest gas prices around. Um, I've been using this one for quite a while now, and it's really a a um, really helps out when, like I said, trying to keep within a budget. It helps you find the cheapest gas. It can do it by zip code or area code. It can also do it by your GPS location. Um, gives you the opportunity to update gas prices in your local area or on your travels. So it's 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 a must-have as far as I'm concerned for RVers. It's really important with with the way gas prices are for us. So that's probably one of my top ones. And then next we'll move on to the RV checklist. Um, they preach on a lot of the forums that you need to do checklists. That have to have a checklist. You're going to forget something. This app is very easily easy to set up. It has its own checklist in there. You can modify those checklists. You can take stuff off. You can create your own checkoff list for getting, uh, getting ready to uh, go camping or to move your RV to packing up your RV, simple things like lowering the antenna that you might forget or disconnecting the external LP bottle. It just helps you to uh, get everything that you need and be ready to go and you know that you've already completed it. So to me, it's it's another one of those useful tools that you can use. Um, as you see here in red, it's uh, that's when it's open. Once you check it, it's going to turn to a green color to show that you've already gone through it. And if you're not sure, you can uncheck it and go back and check it again. Really a simple simple app to use, but very effective when it comes to RV stuff. So that's why that's on this list. The next one I'd like to talk about is the, it's called iExit. And I haven't really used this as much as I thought. Uh, I recently just picked it up, but it will give you by exit on interstates major interstates so in my case i live in washington so i5 is the main corridor and it will if you can go in there and set it for i5 washington state and it will list all of the exits and a lot of information there where to eat where to get gas where hotels locations are at um parks and recreation that are near you RV stops. It's just a cram pack full of information that you can use. Uh, I can see this being something that we'll utilize all the time. It's good to know what's coming down the road, what's available at the rest areas so that you can tell if it has a dump site or not. Just a really good app. It's, it should be very handy for, for our further travels. And then the next one I'd like to talk about is American National Parks. This is broke down of all the different national parks throughout the United States. And I believe there's some in Canada that are listed in here. It lists them. It gives additional downloads so you can get like videos, uh, maps of the locations where the campsites are at, geographical maps, um, different pictures throughout the different places that are there. It's just chock full of information, how big campsites are. All the relevant stuff to RVers. So again, something really nice to look at is this app. Now we'll move on to my next one, which is going to be the RV Parky. 
A lot of these have a similar stuff to them. Some get into more detail than others. This is one of those that you can do it by zip code, by current location, uh, gives you campsite information, gives you fuel stop locators, rest area information, welcome centers, all through North America, including the United States, Canada, and Mexico. It's just chock full of information. Use this one in conjunction with one of the other ones and you have a lot of useful information at your hands and at the ready while you're traveling. Enough said about that. The, now the next one that I really, really recommend everybody having is uh, is this, the Sandy Dump. The reason why I say that this one's important because if you get somewhere and you think there's going to be a, um, a a location at a rest stop that will have a dump available for you, it may not. This will help you do that. Plus, this also gives you more information about other dump, dump, other dump sites that are available in your area. So you can some of these are pay, so you might have to pay five dollars to use their dump facility. But it's better to get it dumped than to let it sit and ruin your RV. So that's why it's on my top 10 list. Another one that I'd like to talk about is the overnight parking at Walmart. This one is a very simple app. It, it's not a lot of other stuff involved in it. It can go off based off your location through GPS. Or you can also set it up to go to... Um, the Walmarts within a state. So it'll show you all the different Walmarts in the state. Once you go in there, you find the one that's closest to your location, you click on it, and it will tell you whether or not if they allow overnight parking in their Walmart. Sometimes things happen and you need to take a break or weather hits and you need to stop and let it blow over. Um, this is a great app to have. So go ahead and take a look at it. Now all these apps are suggested apps. I, I've used many of them and I really think that uh, this is something that, that will be beneficial to you. Uh, not all roadmaps have the information as readily available as, as these apps do. So it might, take, might behoove you to go ahead and take a look at these apps. And hopefully it's something that will uh, get you inspired to start thinking about your RV get ready for the summer months and start looking at these so go ahead and get started start thinking about all that and that should be a right if for this episode um if you're new to the channel i would ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way you get up to date on the content on a weekly basis i try to provide videos that are informational and informative diy information also some uh, product reviews and hopefully soon we'll be doing some RV campsite reviews. So stay tuned for all that. And this is Aaron signing off. And we will see you again on our next video. As always, happy RVing.